Mickey YouTube Ask Forward tutorial about cloth physics and this perfectly fits into my tutorial series about physics so let's begin. So, uh, we will create a cloth physics effect using uh, Unity's built-in cloth physics component uh, with all its flaws and uh, things you have to take care of and we will create our own cloth physics component which will react a little bit different. Uh, it has also its flaws and um, yeah but we will make it from scratch and you will get all the code to create your own one. I set up a scene with the sphere and the carpet and as soon as I start the scene you see the carpet is just falling at the ball. So let's change this. At first we get rid of everything that is not necessary on the carpet. So we have just a normal cube and a mesh renderer at the carpet and we add the cloth component. You will notice that the renderer will disappear and the skin mesh renderer will uh, be created. And this is one of the things that the cloth component does because the cloth component is mainly for characters and not for carpets. And we will see, we will see why. If we now start the scene, we will see that the carpet is just falling through everything. And this is why, um, the cloth component is so restrictive because you can only have capsule colliders and sphere colliders collide with this cloth component and you have to explicitly um, set them up. For example, I have a sphere collider and this is here the sphere underneath the carpet. So I can drag and drop it here into the slot and now the class can collide with this sphere. One other disadvantage is that it just basically um, goes through some of the objects uh, it collides with. So this is very uh, unrealistically, but let's talk about the good stuff. The first thing that you will notice are these two buttons. This is for the max distance and the surface penetration. And the other thing is for inner and self collision. Let's start with this max distance. So for example, if I set it to zero, this means uh, every point that I mark now uh, will be fixed. For example, um, I can mark all these points on the side so that they will become red. And this basically means they are fixed here and that's it. With the surface penetration, uh, I can mark the points that shouldn't go through a surface um, as we see it the last time but uh, this is not working very well so as you can see the behavior will be a little bit weird so I wouldn't recommend you to use it. If you want to erase anything you can just select um, some of these points or paint uh, some of these points and you will see uh, if they have any kind of surface penetration or max distance. The other button is for solid collision and inner collision. This means that um, the carpet can collide with itself. You can just uh, use the select tool to select some points or the paint tool to just um, paint these things. But normally you don't need that. The other things um, can be shown in play mode. So the stiffiness, for example, the stretched stiffiness means um, uh, how much force will be applied so that the carpet will stay stable. As you can see, it's not very stable. Uh, as, as soon as I increase the stiffiness, it will get stable again. And the other, the bending stiffiness means um, how much force will be applied so that it does not bend. So as you can see here, if I set it to one, uh, it will be more like a carpet. Uh, the tethers are for stabilization, so if I deactivate it or activate it, sometimes the whole thing become more instable uh, as soon as you deactivate them. The gravity speaks for itself, it's just the gravity, um, otherwise the gravity is not affecting any of these in the carpet. The damping is just for a slower uh, animation, as you can see, you can barely um, notice the difference, maybe I set it to 0.5. And um, yeah, it's nearly no moving. So if you set it to zero, it's um, the most fluent animation. 
If we have a look at the external acceleration, we can uh, simulate some wind effect, for example, wind from the side or maybe the other side. Uh, this is possible. Random acceleration means um, some kind of wiggling. As you can see here, it's uh, some random wind, if you want to say. Uh, the other ones are not so important. If the world's velocity, say, a scale, it's just um, how much of the world scale is affecting this carpet or this cloth component. Um, the mass scale is just the mass of all the dots that are on this carpet. Uh, used continuous, continuous collision is some uh, internal flag. Um, it's the same as solver frequency. If you mark this, it will be more stable. If you increase this um, number, it will be more stable. And the sleep threshold is one um, parameter. Um, I wouldn't play with this uh, if you have no problems. The capsules and sphere colliders are already explained. These are the only colliders the carpet can collide with. And that's all I got to say. Um, there's no possibility to let it collide with the ground. So uh, let's make our own and maybe we can do some improvements in some of these points. The first thing I did was I just created uh, the carpet in Blender and created some bones and attached the bones to it. And the bones are attached at the points um, where the wires are connected. For example, if I go to uh, the edit mode, you see it's exactly at those crossings here. If you do not have an idea uh, how to create such a thing, go to my whoop to, uh, rope tutorial. Um, I will explain you how to create a mesh and how to create the bones and the armature for it. If you have done everything right, you should have a carpet, an armature and many bones. So marks that the bone hierarchy beneath this cube uh, is just not existent, so the bones are just directly under the armature. There's no hierarchy uh, between them, so you can use any bone and just move the bone and the carpet should move with its bone. Then I created 25 spheres and placed the spheres uh, exactly at the positions uh, where the bones are and every um, particle should have a sphere collider and a rigid body. Uh, you can reduce the mass of the rigid body to maybe 0.1. Now we can start connecting all those rigid bodies. So we will skip the first line and go directly to the second line and we will have a distance join 3D. The script is a script I used in the rope tutorial. Maybe you go there to get the script. Um, I can set the connected widget body. Um, this widget body will be connected to its parent. And here you see the first result. The first row uh, is a kinematic widget body, so they will stay at the position. Um, this one is not cinematic, so um, it will just uh, stay here because the distance joint says it should stay there. And I can grab any of these to test and try it out. So the distance joint seemed to work. Let's add a second distance joint. And now we will um, make a connection to its successor. So it has two connections. To shorten everything, I will just explain that we just um, make a connection here, a connection here. These inner nodes will have a connection to this one, to its parent and its successor, and it goes on. So basically we will have some kind of a grid here. Uh, everybody is connected to its neighbors, but it's just a connection that goes always upwards and to the left and to the right if there is a node. Never downwards and these bolts or spheres will never have a connection. The next thing is we just turn off the mesh renderer. I scale them up a little bit and then I move the complete carpet physic to just match our carpet so that it looks like this. And then we will create a script uh, called copy position. 
And this is what it looks like. We just have a transform with a, top, a copy car, uh, target. And in the fixed update, we set the position of the copy target to our current transform position. We will add this copy position uh, to every of our particles. And then we will go ahead and match the bone with the particle. So we have to have a look. Where is our bone? For example, here is the first one, the 14. So we will match the 14 with the particle and the rigid body. And that's all we got to do. And there we have it. All the positions will be copied. And uh, as soon as I move the sphere to this carpet, we have made our own class physics component. So we don't need the class component from Unity. And maybe uh, it will do better in some cases. For example, it will collide with uh, the ground. So um, it can collide with spheres, with boxes and all the things you need. And that's it. Um, I hope you liked the tutorial. Leave a like, uh, suggest more of things uh, that you want to see. For example, now I'm doing all the physics stuff. And if you want to have a video about a specific uh, topic so just leave a comment and write what you want to see.